What up, my dudes? I cannot decide what to do today, all right? Maybe y'all can help me. Check it out. I got a bunch of little shrimp in there. We know those guys work, so I may use some live shrimp, but I may cast some lures, man. I'm wanting to cast some lures. We got perfect conditions today. So we're just gonna go do a mixture of everything. Let's see how this is gonna work today. Ooh, man. There he is. <laughs> I was like, what is, what is going on? It's a stupid lady fish. Freaking idiot. Guys, there's a shark and he's swimming with his fin out of the water right in front of me up here. Check it out. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh my gosh, I got him. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> he came off. <laughs> okay, I definitely didn't have enough. He cut my line. I, I mean, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I kind of parked under this a different spot here. I got a live shrimp. I'm going to free line a live shrimp out the back, and I'm also going to put one on the bottom. He's hitting it, guys. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got, there he is. Sweet. Fish on. He nailed that live shrimp out the back of the boat. I just... Oh, man. Really? He came unbuttoned right there. Dang it. This sucks. Let's get us another shrimp out there. Whatever I'm hanging has teeth, though. The, the, the shrimp on the bottom's not getting hit. My lure's not getting hit. But every single time I put a shrimp out on top, it's getting, and I'm letting him free line like that, he's getting hit. As many times as I'm getting hit on that shrimp, I'm bound to hook something on a lure if I throw it. I mean, that, that shrimp on top just keeps getting hammered. There he is. Fish on, fish on, come here. What do we got here? Oh, we got a jack. Look at there. There's a bunch of jacks following him too. We broke the ice. So we know one of the species out there is jack. All right, let's keep at it. There's a, definitely a few fish here. Whatever I'm hooking out here has some serious teeth. And so, there he is, there he is. I got him, I got him on the lure that time. That's a decent fish. I think this is another jack there. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, it's a Spanish. Look at there. No, it's not. It's a baby king, dude. That's a baby king mackerel. I'm going to show you why right here. Man, so you can always tell a king because of the lateral line. A king's lateral line dips and a Spanish lateral line stays straight. That's a baby king. We're gonna let him go. That's kind of cool catching one right here in the bay, huh? Free line in the shrimp. Oh, oh, he's already getting hit. He's already getting hit. There he is. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here. It's another, uh, what do we got? Oh, that's a Spanish this time. Look at, look at him chasing him. There's a bunch of them with him. Oh yeah. Look at that. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference here. See the Spanish? straight lateral line it only has a very small dip and the king comes down to here and that's how you can tell the difference between the two that's actually a really nice spanish there free line and shrimp there he goes so all i'm doing to rig for these spanish is i'm taking a little small circle hook just like this right here and i'm free lining them and pitching pitching these shrimp out the back of the boat and i've always done this i used to do this when i ran charters all the time it's a very effective way to catch mackerel normally i'd use a long shank hook for these but i don't have any because i wasn't expecting this today so i'm having to make do with circle hooks they're already hit already hitting the shrimp already hitting the shrimp come on it is wild how they hit the shrimp the second it gets out there but will not touch an actual mackerel lure. <laughs> I wonder if we're on. Nope. Right, he's still in good shape.
Oh, got him, got him, there he is. Dude, he smoked it right by the boat. What do we got, what do we got? Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Look at there. Oh, I'm on the back, I'm on the back too. Holy crap. There he is. Oh, dude, he smoked it in the back, okay. Okay, what do we got? Another big Spanish, real big Spanish here. Look at there. <laughs> I doubled up. That's a pretty Spanish there. I'm gonna let him go. Ugh. You know what you gotta do after you catch mackerel? Scrub the boat. All right, let's get it out here. Let's see if the jerk shad will produce again. All right, that was a nice little double up right there. It's weird that they're eating this jerk shad and not the glass minnow though, man. They're eating the jerk shad and the live shrimp and that is it. Oh, 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 right behind me. Huge fish, guys, huge fish. He's getting, uh, there's a bait on top and he's blowing up on it. Oh man, right here. Come on. Oh, God, he bit it and missed it. Dang it. Oh, there he is, come on. Come on, there he is. Oh, you stupid mother trucker. There's fish literally as far as I can see busting the surface. I don't know if it's all Spanish. Some of them look bigger than Spanish. So we're gonna, we're just gonna go down, ease down here and make some casts. Guys, there's fish all over this side of the bridge, right in front of the boat blowing up right here. Oh, I'm already on. I'm, oh my God. He broke me off. He broke me off. Let's see if I can get him to hit a shrimp. Oh, yep, he did hit the shrimp. They are aggressive. I'm on, I'm on. Okay, he got the shrimp. <laughs> he got the shrimp. He cut me off with the other lure and then got the shrimp. Another big Spanish. Look at there. Yeah, big Spanish everywhere. It is a Spanish morning here, guys, in the bay. Yeah, a lot of fish, man. They're everywhere out there. Oh, I'm already on. The second my bait hits the water, it's a fish on. He's coming right at the boat too. That's a little little guy. It's a Spanish though. This is like every cast out here, dudes. Crazy. It's got to be other fish mixed in with them too. He's, they're still still popping right out here. I'm gonna let it sink just a little bit and see if I can get a, a jack or a redfish or something like that. Oh, they're up here. They're up here. Oh man, they are. Dude, oh, right behind me. Crap. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Come on. Oh, <laughs> he missed it. Crazy conditions out here. Oh my gosh, that was a redfish right there, I think. I saw him come up. He was definitely, oh yeah. Guys, there's some big fish around me, big fish around me. Oh, oh, oh yeah. God, dude, that was a stud. Oh my God. Oh. Where did he go? Where did he go? I had to go up to 50 pound test because I keep getting cut off. I think some of these are big kings that are cutting me off. But, and I should probably have steel. There he is. Oh, it was a good, good fish, whatever it was, down deep. Trying to figure out, I've seen some really, really large fish mixed in with these Spanish. There he is. Ah, come here. Come here. Another big Spanish, and there's a bunch of birds and, uh, and big fish blowing up. I gotta get to him. I gotta release this dude. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, Eric's already on him. My buddy Eric's already on him, so. <sighs> Man, they were everywhere down there. I lost a lot of tackle today, and it was mainly because I wasn't prepared for mackerel. I was uh, trying to catch other things, and it's cool. I had a great morning, lots of action. One of my YouTube subscribers just uh, sent me an email, and I called him while I was out here. 
he's uh, he's moving to Pensacola here in a few weeks and he's wanting to purchase a house and so he called me to show him a house because I'm a real estate agent here so duty calls but it's been an awesome morning I caught a lot of fish and we're still gonna do the mystery tackle box giveaway. So I am back in the office and it's time to do the mystery tackle box giveaway. And mystery tackle box was nice enough to send me this box. They're gonna be sending a lot more in the future. So I'll do a bunch of mystery tackle box giveaways here in the near future. Uh, and I'll add some of my lures to them sometimes too, just like I'm doing today. But the winner of the Mystery Tackle Box giveaway and the Brant giveaway, because I'm adding my lures to it, it's Oscar Salazar. Oscar was one of the first ones to comment on this post. That means he watched the video all the way through. And you know, that just, that's a thank you. Oscar, thanks for being a loyal subscriber. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, if you will just send me an email with your address, I'll send you this Mystery Tackle Box. My email is going to be linked in the description. Other than that, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. You guys have a great week.